Hi everyone! Today we're going to study a just and see matrix. This is for undirected graph. Suppose that capital G equals with elements capital V and capital E is on undirected graph with cardinal number of capital V equals N. This cardinal number means the number of vertices in the set capital V. Suppose that the vertices of capital G are listed arbitrary as V sub 1, V sub 2, up to V sub N. Then the adjacency matrix of A, or in symbol we write capital A sub capital G of the undirected graph capital G with respect to this listing of vertices is the n by n matrix where capital A is a matrix with element small a sub ij such that each entry small a sub ij represent the number of edges between vertex i and vertex j. Take note, the loop in an undirected graph is counted as one edge. Example, find the adjacency matrix of the given graph in here. We have here four vertices and that means we should have a four by four matrix. First, let us draw a blank matrix with the labels accordingly. Now, let's begin with AA. We're looking for a loop in the vertex A. There is no loop here, so we write zero. Next, for the AB. This is the vertex A. This is vertex B. There is one edge connecting A to B. So we write here 1. Next is AC. This is vertex A. This is vertex C. There is one edge connecting the two vertices. So we write here 1. Next is AD. This is vertex A. This is vertex D. There is one edge that connects the two vertices. So we write here 1. For the next row, we have BA. This is vertex B and vertex A is here. There is one edge connecting the two vertices. So we write here 1. Next is BB. We are looking for a loop in the vertex B. There is one loop here, so we write 1. Next, BC. This is vertex B. This is vertex C. The two vertices are connected by one edge. So we write here 1. Next, BD. This is vertex B. This is vertex D. There are two edges connecting the two vertices. So we write here 2. Using the pattern, we will now be able to write the numbers for this row number 3 and row number 4. For the row number 3, the elements are 1, 1, 0, 0. Row number 4, the elements are 1, 2, 0, 0. Take note here, adjacency matrix of undirected graph is always a symmetric matrix. We can see the symmetry here with respect to the main diagonal. This is the final answer. This is now adjacency matrix for directed graph. Suppose that G equals the elements V and E is a directed graph with the cardinal number of V equals N. Again, we say that the number of elements or vertices in V equals N. 
Suppose that the vertices of G are listed arbitrary as V sub 1, V sub 2, up to V sub n. Then, the adjacency matrix of A, or we write in symbol, capital A sub capital G, of the directed graph, capital G, with respect to this listing of vertices is the n by n matrix where capital A equals the matrix with element small a sub ij such that each entry a sub ij represent the number of edges started with vertex v sub i and ended with a vertex v sub j. Example, find the adjacency matrix of the given graph. This is our graph. We have here five vertices, so we expect a 5 by 5 matrix. Let us draw a blank matrix with labels like this. Remember that we are going to count the number of edges started with vertex V sub i and ended with a vertex V sub j. Let's begin with A going to A. We are looking for a loop in vertex A. This is the vertex A. There is no loop. That's why we write here 0. Next, A going to B. This is vertex A. This is vertex B. There is one arrow from vertex A going to vertex B. So we write here 1. Next is A going to C. This is vertex A. This is vertex C. There is no edge connecting vertex A to vertex C. So we write here 0. Next, A going to D. This is vertex A. This is vertex D. There is no direct edge from A going to D. So we write here 0. Next, A going to E. This is vertex A. This is vertex E. We can see that there is one edge from A going to E. That is why we write here 1. So we learned the pattern how to write the numbers. So we will be able to write the elements for second row, third row, fourth row, and fifth row. For the second row, the elements are 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. For third row, the elements are 0, 1, 0, 3, 1. Fourth row, the elements are 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Last row, the elements are 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. This is now the adjacency matrix.